can also find a link to that VOD on Twitter. Uh, it'll be paired up with their thumbnail. So oh, yeah, nice. check it out. There you go. Grand Finals. We got my guy, Mr. E, and my other guy, Venya. Both homies. Uh, i like to see where this one goes. Okay. Mm. Oh, man. E is just on a roll of We're just gonna game one where people just taking it. All right. He's going to go to the Blazo. And I mean, Venya did overextend. Yeah. He had no resources, and he only had Hydro Pump. I guess he thought he could make it to the other side of the stage, but uh, the Ninja's recovery is pretty good. It's not that good, my man. That'd be pretty busted. Okay. He's just opting to hold center stage, which is what you want to do. Um, if you could. All right. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. What, I don't. I don't know. What percent lead? We're just playing <laughs> Smash Four. Two like, stocks. Then oh, you're like, okay, uh, let's just reset this real quick. If you don't want to hold me stock me, I will just take the hold me stock. But just like that, Venya is back in the lead. Dash attack. Ooh, he fighting back in disadvantage. He's feeling himself. He feeling funky. Okay. Great spacing on that fair. Not giving either opportunity to punish at all. Okay. Up air. Dash attack. Ooh. There's a button check, right? <laughs> There's a button check. This, has, this is just a very intricate, uh, thorough button check. Yeah, they'll be starting game one <laughs> soon enough. Oh my god. We're, we're actually kidding. See? But, like, it's a situation like that. Where, like, if he reads that he's going to go for the hydro pump and, like, ride the wave, like, don't give it to him. Like, some, I don't know. I, I feel like there's some potential there. Yeah. Kind of thinking three steps ahead. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that was scary for Venya. Because we all know Lucina's sword is very, very strong. Ooh, okay. Gonna go for it again. Venya, he's getting closer and closer to this down here. <laughs> Every time he does it, he hits you with a stronger hitbox. I don't know if you have uh, any more lives. <gasps> oh, no. Did he not have a jump? I'll check the replay real quick. That was, that was weird because he didn't jump. Oh, that was great by Mr. E. He knew that that dash attack was going to cross up, so he didn't be reverse that up. And he just went out for it, facing the edge. Great job by him. Great job. Give Ben his face. He's more mad at his two SDs or one and a half SDs well, yeah. than anything else. I'd be mad too. Mad Venya isn't isn't fun to watch. No, no, or it's extremely fun to watch. It's just yeah, yeah, it's not correct. fun to play against. Mad Venya is not fun to play against. I don't want to be on the receiving end of a Mad Venya, something especially I on FD. Something I wanted to bring up earlier was that uh, when the way Venya got the the three peat was that E sent him the losers and winners finals, and when he was like. Up, uh, he was going to win game one, or he no, no, I think he was up game one. Uh, uh -huh. So like he was about to win the tournament, like uh, in set one. He did a taunt, and Mad Venia, like came in, kicked in, and just four would him from there. Yo, he taunted against Venia. That's some. I don't know if I could ever taunt against. Venya. There's there's taunt to bo to get body, then there's taunt to get four would <laughs> Four would Oh my gosh! I mean, there's certain there's certain people in the community that you can't taunt against. Yeah. Venya is definitely one of them. Another person you don't taunt against. MK Leo. I don't think MK Leo is somebody you can taunt against. <laughs> Imagine yeah. having the cojones to taunt against MK Leo. All right. OK, back here. Going to put him right back off stage. Now this match looking a lot, a lot more even. Much better. Uh, Mm, okay, just calling it out. I'm not sure if it was true at that percent, but he just went for it. He knew he wasn't going to do anything outright. Uh, Fair wasn't going to beat it out, so that was good. Okay, Misu just playing a strong neutral. Ben, uh, also obviously wants to put on some percentage before he loses this stock, but uh, he looks like he's in control. Up B, going to put him right back off stage. Good position for E to be in to take this stock and just spaces out that grab. Uh, forward tilt not going to do anything yet. Ooh, just misses that forward tilt too. Back air. Going to secure the stock. I like it. I like it. 
Okay, he kind of being aggressive. Dancing Blade gonna turn the tables. Mm -hmm. Gonna get that forward tilt just for a little bit of damage. Not gonna follow anything up on it. Gonna get that grab there. Ooh. He feeling strong and brave. He's gonna shield that dash attack. Nice. Went into shield, but reacted to the neutral get up. Gonna get the grab out of it. Okay, drag down. Ooh, good tag, because you would have took a lot of damage. And you probably you could have died. Because I've seen him kill somebody else at that percentage <laughs> with a lock. Okay, good job by Mr. E. That dancing way he knew it wasn't gonna connect. Uh at the at tipper lane. It doesn't Good reaction. That is called being a step ahead. He understood that Venya has an opportunity to tech this, and when he does tech it, he's going to be right here. So I'm put another hitbox right there. But as I'm explaining that, Venya able to take that stock away from Mr. E. Now, Venya sitting on his winner's bracket stock. E looking like he wants to reset this bracket. Actually looking really good. Okay. Up B. Didn't even look like the move was over yet, but E going to get that up B through, uh, through the hits. Great tech, and he mixed it up. Last time he tech behind Venya. This time he just teched in place. Venya's kind of preemptively uh, tried to uh, read that tech. Tech roll in, and didn't get it. But the Dancing Blade, good DI by Venya. <gasps> okay, that was brave. Only thing is, uh, Mr. E put out a hitbox where, uh, oh wow, so he wasn't able to punish. But Venya's still in disadvantage. He's going to turn the tables here. That could have been, oh, my. Venya, great tech, the life-saving tech. Winner's bracket, saving tech right yeah. there. Okay, and you can tell, Venya does not want to go to a reset with uh, E, especially with the momentum that he has right now. I don't know if uh, that would be a good thing. 183 sitting on him. I don't think he can take another fair. A strong hit fair, a back air, they'll, they'll all do it to him. Okay. He understanding that. Doesn't want Venya to put on any more percentage, unneeded percent. So he's trying to just wall him out. Opted to just stick uh, to stage control. We got two minutes. And there it goes. That back here going to clip him. And we have a reset, my guys. My guys, my guys. This is what you came to see. Some good smash. Some good smash. And Mr. E has come in correct. He lost in, in winner's finals to Venya. Lost in winners finals, but now he's coming in clutch, letting us know, listen, I feel like I was supposed to be there. <laughs> I feel like I was supposed to be on the winner side of this bracket, Venya. So you're going to have to prove to me that you're in the right spot. And just like that, we got both of them in losers, We got, which means we got a reset, and we're going to Smashville. Game one, set two, true final. Yes. Here we go. Okay. And you can, I can already see the aggression in Venya right now. Venya is upset. He is mad. Mad mad. He is big mad. So let's see what he does with this. Okay, good job by E. Putting him uh putting up a wall, but Venya gonna break that. Couple up airs. Try to ledge trap trap him with that water shuriken. Here we go, up, oh, nice, sliding up till to catch that. Shrink the hurt box, put out a hit box, put you right back in the mix. He doing a good job of not staying in, the, in disadvantage very long against Venya though. Venya hasn't been able to tack on a lot of damage with combos or uh, just his uh, pressing his advantage. I was gonna say, a lot of his kills are coming from straight like down tilt fair confirms or going way deep for back airs. If he's able to avoid those two things, uh, Venya has trouble uh, securing stocks. But just like that, Venya's up. Okay, nice jab. Gonna cover that spot dodge for him coming out of shield. Okay. Good job by E doing that next to the edge. Able to make it, make it a little bit more safe for himself. But he's still in disadvantage. Ugh, this is scary. Okay. Opposite Hydro Pump, instead of throwing out an attack. Ooh. And that's a that's a scary part of it. If at any point during that um if at any point during that up B animation, if he gets hit with any of the wind box from that water, like that could that could spell death for him. He doing a, he doing a good job of staying low though. Okay. 
It's going to up you right back to the stage. Ah, Vega thought he was behind him, so he tried to tomahawk him. He'll be facing the wrong direction, though. Uh, 140 cent on E. You got to take the stock now, though. You don't want to go down three stocks to one against Venya, even if he's at this high of a percent. That's scary. Good parry by Venya. Back here, going to put him right back on the other side of the stage. How do we make it back? Just going to boost you get up. Tried to jab him. Just out of range in these back airs. Venya doing a good job of surviving. That was a weird exchange. It seemed like the both up B and the Hydro Pump kind of traded, or the wind bo he got the wind box out of the Hydro Pump just before he got hit with the up B. So it forced E away from the stage, and uh, which was not good news. And the fact that Venya teched it put him in prime position to continue the game. Okay. E. Okay, and, that, and that's been what E has done very well. His patience in this matchup. His patience against Venya. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Just as we're talking about it. Going to wait out that counter and able to take that stock. Venya putting himself in a really bad position because he was... My guy, why? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Why? Someone explain. <laughs> explain to me why... <laughs> Venya just did down tilt under the ledge and was able to confirm that. <laughs> Look at that. Drag down, down tilt, F smash. Ugh, funky chicken. Mm. <laughs> that was so nasty. That was so nasty. Okay. Definitely not going to see a character switch here, but we're going to be in Battlefield. We're going to be in Lilat. And we're going to go to, oh, Yoshi's. This is interesting. This is interesting. We haven't seen these two play at, uh, play on this stage. And I'm guess you know what? I'm not mad at this. E had several um, situations where his back air, where um, Venya survived back air longer than he should have. So I'm guessing he wants to go here so he can get that back air kill at 115, at 120, where Venya was surviving it because of the size of the stage. Okay, nice. Gonna wait out that tech. Uh, react accordingly. Okay. Mm. Now the tilt of these uh, of this stage definitely gonna uh, play a part in this matchup. But I wonder why I'm surprised. Usually sword characters don't want to go to these slants. I'd like to see. I, I wonder why he um, he's opted to go here. Okay, sometimes you just got to take yourself out of disadvantage. Wow, that raw back air just going to do it outright like that? And that percentage, really good. That is a really good tool for uh, Greninja. Okay, and E just going to reverse it, going to take this stock. Now, E kind of has to slow this down. It seems like Venya is now in control of what is going on. He's uh, kind of adapted to what E wants to do. Um, seems like E is just getting his kills out of like, out of like, like sparring or or out of a scuffle. Doesn't seem as um, as clean as it was in the first in the first um, in the first set. Excuse me. But just as I'm saying that, E cooking up something himself. Nice. Gonna avoid that grab. Just gonna uh, short hop to down air. And I like this aggression coming from E. Uh, ben is comfortable, so he he's thinking that he can push it, his advantage a little bit better. So he's being aggressive right back, and it's, it's paying off for him. Nice, no tech by Venya. He's kind of he was a sitting duck there. He used counter, he's kind of just uh, floating down. <laughs> he understood. Okay, I can probably up B you if you don't tech it. You're gonna die, and that's exactly what happened. Drag down, good tech, and then the up B to get him out of dodge. A lot of characters, even though they teched it, uh, and Venya whiffed that jab, a lot of other characters would still be in the blender. They'd still be in that mix. But um, E having that up B get off me option is very good. Okay. It looked like he wall jumped there. Okay, that fair. Didn't tech that on the platform. Yes. And going to reverse it. Nice reversal by E. And like we said before, this is what we like to see. Set two. 
game three between these two powerhouses, my guy Venya and my guy E, letting us know, listen, some high level play here, man. Some high level play. Neither of them, neither of them want to just give it up. You're going to have to earn this, B. We're not giving it up out here. We're not giving it up out here. Facts. Okay, FD is the choice. FD is the choice for these guys. And I'm, and I'm not mad at this at all. I'm not mad at this at all. Before, I didn't understand who uh, who this stage really favored because they both picked it before. But uh, it seems like uh, they're both pretty comfortable on the stage. Okay, nice wait by E. Not going to try and parry it. A lot of, uh, with these down airs that these characters have, like Greninja, like Sheik, like uh, Bowser, where they stall a little bit right before they, they continue to their, um, right before they continue to descend, uh, it, it trips up people who are very good at parrying. So now it mixes up the timing, and now you come out of shield, and you get hit with a down air. It's even better when the down air confirms it to something that kills you. Ooh, and that was scary. That was, a, that was a scary situation for Venya. But here we go. Pretty even game we got right here, but Mr. E in full advantage has been nice. So every time Venya was uh, down there uh, in the first game, E was actually able to secure two, two really clean stocks with the down air. This time we see Venya kind of come up on the offensive, trying to get, uh, trying to get E out of his hair a little bit. I like that. With that up air. Up throw? Got a little bit of rage? Yeah, gonna do it. That up throw. Definitely a uh, scary tool. Because if uh, if Venya didn't have, or if Greninja didn't have up throw, and you can DI. Oh, that is not good. Okay. That's not good. He lost his stock at about, what was that, 40%? To again, he caught him trying to rise and uh, throw out an aerial and completely reversed, reversed that edge guard. Scary situation. That might be uh, that might be curtains for this game here. Let's see what Mr. E can do with this uh, momentum he's kind of building. Nice. Slide cancel F tilt. Slide cancel F tilt again. Okay. I need to go off stage again. Going to give up your whole stage control for it. Question is, what's it worth? Okay. Nice. F smash is going to put him right back off stage. 83% sitting on Venya. Got to capitalize on this situation, E. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice parry by... Uh, and the back air going to do it. Only 80% on E. This is, this is not out of the realm of possibility. How do we do it? Does Venya stop the momentum or does E complete this comeback? Last stop. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, tries to get a pivot grab, not going to do it. That down air is still not going to punish. I've yet to see E punish that down air on shield. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it, it looked like he just whiffed something, which is why he didn't get that. But uh, E hasn't been touched in a while. That grab going to do it. Okay. Going to punish that shuriken toss. As he says, that tosses him right off stage. Okay, reading the air dodge, put him right back off stage, and we have a game. E has now come back. Let's see who's gonna. Oh! <laughs> Yo! That was the most clutch last stock situation. My man E has been cooking all day. Day. He's been cooking against the buzz. He was cooking in the latter half of that game against um uh in winners finals against uh Venya. Now he just secured yo, he SD'd at 30%. And he didn't SD against a gym. This is not a gym we're talking about. This isn't a round one, this isn't a round two, this isn't the losers bracket. Well, it is the losers bracket, but this isn't early on in the losers bracket. This is Venya himself at King underscore Venya on Twitter if you want to follow him. And he just made the illest comeback, not to mention a shield break. He's been trying to get that since winner's finals. For you who were tuning in early, he's been trying to get that since winner's finals. Wasn't, did not get it. 
my man conditioned him, put him in the box. He said, listen, stop coming out of shield. Stop doing things that are unsafe. And then he was like, you know what? I'm just going to sit in shield, see if I can block something real quick. But nah, look at this. Look at this. This was just, just such good play. At 24%, he lost that stock. But did he shake? Did he shake? No, he did not. Opted that comeback. And you can see FD coming in clutch in that situation. Going to let Venya survive one more, but getting that last up tilt. Okay, good job by Mr. E. Because if he would have finished that uh, dancing blade, he probably would have died. Going to land with that down air into back air. Going to secure the stock. And here it is. Going to touch that shield with the down air. B reverse. That neutral B. I know where you're going to land, my guy. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. I see you. Talk about a shield poke, my guy, E. And standing up with the pop-off. So deserved. So well deserved by Mr. E. You know what you get, E? The slow clap. That was a game six to watch.